the branching cards are some of the most heavily used features of flows. These cards do a lot of the heavy lifting when building custom business rules, allowing you to direct flow behavior based on specific criteria. If else, and if else if are two good commonly used cards for use cases that require a different set of actions to run based on different criteria. First, let's examine the reasons why you would want to use the if else card. Only two different sets of criteria or two different action paths are needed. To use the if else card, you'll first need to decide which field you need the card to check and so that it can determine if your set criteria are met. To set this field, simply drag it over and into the left operand. Next, Select the drop-down operator option that matches how you want to check your criteria. If the criterion is met, any action cards placed in the true branch are performed. Otherwise, action cards placed in the false branch are performed instead. If you have multiple sets of criteria that need to result in distinctly different actions, you'll want to use the if-else-if card. This card works similarly to the if-else card, but will allow you to check multiple criteria rather than just one. Criteria are checked in a linear order, and the first match will instruct the flow to perform the actions in its branch. There are two more branching functions you'll want to know about. Continue if is great when you only want to execute a flow if it meets a specific, single criterion. If the criterion isn't met, the flow will stop. A lookup card is another way to control flow execution based on a number of different options. For example, you can convert one value to another using a lookup table.